We're going to begin this hour with new details on a case we've been covering for a while here at CBS News. Vincent Simmons was released from a Louisiana prison in February after spending 44 years behind bars for a crime he says he did not commit. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, you recall this, was by his side when a judge ruled he did not get a fair trial the first time. Simmons was convicted in 1977 of attempted aggravated rape of twin sisters Sharon and Karen Sanders. He's always maintained his innocence. This case is the focus of this week's 48 Hours season finale. And David spoke with one woman who claims she knows the truth about what happened. Freedom. When Vincent Simmons walked out of the Louisiana State Penitentiary earlier this year, he felt vindicated. Vincent was found guilty in 1977 in Marksville, Louisiana, of two counts of attempted aggravated rape and sentenced to 100 years in prison. I was shocked, guilty. I ain't did nothing. A judge vacated his conviction after finding that Vincent did not receive a fair trial, though the judge did not make a finding as to whether or not Vincent is innocent or guilty. But identical twins, Karen and Sharon Sanders, insist that Vincent raped them when they were 14 years old and he was 25. I know exactly who raped me that night. The twins say they were with their then 18-year-old cousin, Keith Laborde, when they encountered Vincent at a gas station and Keith agreed to give Vincent a ride. They say Vincent directed them to this road where he forced Keith into the trunk of the car and then raped the two of them. The limitations it put on our life like with the anxiety, it's taken a lot from us. I looked at the discovery, I was like, well, everything they said at trial is a lie. It's all a lie. Justin Bonus, Vincent Simmons' current attorney, is skeptical. He believes that the twins are lying to protect Keith Laborde. With me right now. Keith's cousin, Dana Brouillette, told a private investigator in 2020 and swore in an affidavit that Keith admitted to her that Vincent Simmons was never with them that night. He came out and told me there was never a black man. Instead, in that affidavit, Dana says that Keith told her he had consensual sex with one of the girls and locked the other in the trunk. And he locked Sharon in the trunk and he said the sex between him and Karen was consensual. He said but the other one was a little hellcat. That's the one that put the scratches on his neck. In the affidavit, Dana says that Keith had scratches on his neck. She told the private investigator that she believes Keith and the twins made up the story about a black man to explain away those scratches. Karen and Sharon deny that. But in a stunning admission, Karen does acknowledge having had consensual sex with Keith years before the twins say they were attacked. But that has nothing to do with what Vincent did. That's two separate incidents. I called Keith to ask him about all of this. Hello, Keith. This is David Begno with CBS News. Keith, now 63 years old, denied ever having sex with Karen. He said they just, quote, played around like children, end quote. And he also insisted that whatever had happened between the two of them had nothing to do with what Vincent Simmons did that night. That is guilty. I don't give a And yeah, he's a And you can put that on TV. I ain't scared of him. Wow. David Begno joins us now. Uh, David, good morning. Uh, I want to talk about Vincent first. He's out of prison. What's life been like for him? Uh, tough. You know, he's trying to get used to just the basic stuff. I mean, he's been enjoying every moment, but it's also um, been challenging. I mean, he went into prison when he was 25 years old, walked out three days before his 70th birthday. So, so much has changed since then. We were there with him in the days after his release, and he was just trying to, you know, flicker around with the remote control <laughs> and, and figure out yeah. the basic automation that we've lived through using a cell phone for the first time, all things he's never experienced before. He left prison with next to nothing, just boxes of pictures, mm -hmm. Letters, legal documents that he had accumulated behind bars. So it's certainly been a big adjustment. Does Vincent plan to go back to court to seek compensation for wrongful, wrongful imprisonment? So it's interesting. His attorney says he does intend to go back to court, but under Louisiana state law, Vincent is only entitled to compensation if he can present clear and convincing evidence of his innocence. Mm -hmm. And it's important to note that when the judge vacated Vincent's conviction, he did not make a finding as to whether or not Vincent is innocent Seems or guilty. Like he really only found that Vincent, Vincent didn't receive a fair trial. Seems like they would be synonymous, those two things. Uh, you would think, but the legal distinction is yeah. clear. Mm. It's so messy and so tawdry, you know.
allegations of sleeping with your cousin. I could mm. see why you would not want anybody to ever know that about you. But was there any other evidence other than the words of the, the words of Karen and Sharon and the cousin? Zero? Zero. None. No physical evidence. It's all based on their word. And Karen told us, she goes, listen, I think I was nine or ten years old when we experimented like kids. Uh, but but still, I mean, what a stunning revelation yes. for yeah. her that is so relevant of course. to the story. And the so word of the other relevant. relative that said Keith told them. Keith told them. And speaking of relevant, what's law enforcement saying about these allegations? Exactly. Keith? So, look, law enforcement, when we called the district attorney, I actually said to him, I said, you know, sir, Karen admitted that she had had consensual sex with Keith when, you know, Keith was a little bit older than her, but she was around 9 or 10. And Karen told us she thinks that, you know, they had consensual sex and admitted. And he said, listen, David, that's problematic. But he said, at the end of the day, I still think Vincent's guilty. I don't think Keith did it. And so the district attorney is standing by the women. Wow. I really admire the attorney, Justin. You know what's amazing, Gail? Really admire him. He and his wife, New York City, watched a documentary about the case. Mm -hmm. He called Vincent and said, I want to help you. After 20 years of trying, Vincent's yeah. like, okay, guy, come on. Yeah. And he did it. Yeah. Wow. He I was think... the game changer. Justin Bonus, I think he's one of the heroes, too, in this story. Yeah. Yeah. Don't disagree. I like how you called him skeptical. He seems more than skeptical. Yeah. He's pretty convinced at this point. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right, 48 David. hours season finale tomorrow night. I'm going to say that too. David, thank you very much. <laughs> you can see David's report. Please don't tell on the 48 hours. What is it, David? Season finale. <laughs> Tonight, oh, tomorrow night, 10, 9 central, right here on CBS and on our streaming service, Paramount Plus. David, thank you very much. Right